Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about working principle of a transistor. These are the points covered in this tutorial. Let us consider the PNP transistor as shown in this figure. In general, we will forward bias the emitter base junction, and keep the base collector junction open. The depletion region thickness is reduced, due to the applied forward bias potential, which results in heavy flow of majority carrier from P to the in region. Now, let us remove the base emitter junction bias, as shown in figure 21.2, and reverse bias the base collector junction. This will result in zero majority carrier current and only minority carrier current flows. So, we can see the operation of one junction forward biased and another junction reverse biased. Now, let us consider both the biasing potential together. The flow of majority and minority carrier is shown by the arrows. The thickness of the depletion regions indicate the forward and reverse biasing. A large number of majority carriers will diffuse across forward bias PN junction into the n-type material. Since the sandwiched n-type region is very thin, and has a low conductivity, a very small number of carriers will take this path of high resistance to the base terminal. The magnitude of the base current is typically of the order of microampere, while the collector and the emitter current is in milliampere. These large number of majority carriers will diffuse to the P-type material, which is connected to the collector terminal as shown in this figure. We can understand the fact that, these diffused majority carrier acts as minority carrier in the reverse biased NP junction. In other words, these minority carriers has been injected to the N-type base region material. Applying Kirchhoff's current law to the transistor, we get Emitter current is the sum of collector and base current. However, the collector current comprised of two component, the majority and the minority carriers. The minority current component is called leakage current, denoted by the symbol I, CO. Therefore, the collector current is given by the equation, 21.2. The leakage current, ICO is same as reverse saturation current, IS, in the case of a diode leakage current highly dependent on temperature, so, it is important to consider the effect of temperature, otherwise the stability of the system degrades. Similarly for NPN transistor, the operation is same. We can also apply the bias voltages as per the requirement of the application. The electrode or terminal voltages, base emitter junction and collector base junction bias are shown for various operation of the transistor. We will see the biasing conditions one by one on the upcoming tutorial videos. Now, we will discuss the Ford operation mode in brief. In the saturation mode of operation, a transistor acts like a short circuit between collector and emitter. Both of the PN junction in the transistor are forward biased. Cutoff mode is the opposite of saturation. A transistor in cutoff mode is off. There is no collector current, and therefore no emitter current. It almost looks like an open circuit as shown in this figure. So in the case of NPN transistor, the base potential must be less than both the emitter and collector voltage. Transistor's base emitter voltage must be greater than zero, and base collector voltage must be negative. Thus, the base voltage must be less than the collector voltage, but greater than the emitter voltage. That also means the collector voltage must be greater than the emitter voltage. In the active mode of operation, a transistor can be used as an amplifier. 
Here, the collector current is beta times the base current, where beta is the gain or amplification factor. Alpha is the common base current gain. The relation between alpha and beta are shown. To put a transistor in reverse active mode, the emitter voltage must be greater than the base, which must be greater than the collector. Just as saturation is the opposite of cutoff, reverse active mode is the opposite of active mode. A transistor in reverse active mode conducts, even amplifies, but current flows in the opposite direction, from emitter to collector. The downside to reverse active mode is the, Greek small letter beta is much smaller. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.